from savage wild dogs that prey on humans to the true danger behind pit bull terriers, here are 10 dogs you should fear. Number 10. Pit Bull Terriers When it comes to dogs you should fear, pit bulls are definitely at the top of the list. Pit Bull Terriers have a reputation as being the most dangerous, violent and uncontrollable of all the domesticated dog breeds. And believe it or not, this is in fact true. According to statistics, out of the 48 Americans killed by dogs in 2019, 33 of them were killed by pit bulls or pit bull mixes. Additionally, 13 out of the 33 victims were either the owner of the dog or a family member of the owner of the dog. And that's not all. Pit bull terriers are also famous for eating their owners. And when pit bulls attack, they are far more likely than other breeds of dogs to finish the job, meaning they don't just bite. When a pit bull attacks, they typically maul the person to cause serious injury or even death. And in another startling statistic, in 2019, 26 American women were killed by dogs and 16 of them were killed by pit bulls, meaning that pit bulls are the number one killers of women in the dog family. They also happen to be the number one canine killers of other pets, such as dogs and cats. But unlike what you might be thinking, the danger of a pit bull does not necessarily have anything to do with the owner. According to Time magazine, it's been estimated that there are 4.5 million pit bulls in the United States, meaning they make up less than 6% of the canine population. And still, they bite more humans than any other breed. What do you think? Do you think pit bull ownership should be outlawed or more regulated? Or do you think that they have an unfair reputation? Let me know in the comments. Then, be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife for more animal videos. Number 9. Wolf-Dog Hybrids After years of study, scientists have come to the agreement that domestic dogs indeed originated from wild wolves. Of course, this was some time between 20,000 and 100,000 years ago. That was when humans began selectively breeding dogs for help with hunting and for protection. And this is where the wolf dog comes in as a dangerous animal, as it is a hybrid of the dog that humans spent thousands of years modifying and the original wolf. Obviously, dogs and wolves are not the same animal. So, when you have a wolf dog, which is half wolf and half dog, you're going to get a mixed bag of character traits. And unfortunately, it's true that wolf dogs can be incredibly dangerous. Because there is so much wolf in the animal's genes, it may have a tendency to try and dominate you as it grows older, and this is what happens in the wild. Also, a wolf dog is going to have significantly more energy than a normal dog. This means that it will probably have a higher tendency to do things like hunt and attack. And when it comes to playing at the park, this could result in somebody's small child swiftly becoming prey. According to the CDC, between 1979 and 1998, there have been about 14 fatalities linked to wolf dogs. Number 8. The Chihuahua The Chihuahua is a significantly more frightening animal than people give it credit for. Yes, Chihuahuas are yippy and annoying and highly aggressive, but they can also be dangerous. A recent study reported in The Atlantic has revealed that Chihuahuas are consistently more aggressive in every situation than any other breed of dog. Out of 35 common dog breeds analysed in the study, Chihuahuas were the most aggressive dogs to other dogs that they had never seen before, making them the most standoffish out of any other breed. It's funny how the dogs with the most bark are the smallest. Of course, at the same time, Chihuahuas are ridiculously protective of their owners. It's really only strangers that need to worry about being bitten by a Chihuahua. And if you were wondering just how painful a true bite from a Chihuahua might be, you'll be pleased to know that the bite force of a Chihuahua has been estimated at around 150 pounds per square inch, which probably won't do much damage. But still, all that angry barking might give you a heart attack. I'd personally rather have a calm golden retriever or a chocolate lab to be honest. Number 7. Rottweilers Rottweilers are often considered to be some of the most ferocious dogs in the entire world. They have been involved in a lot of attacks on humans, the media is constantly bashing Rottweilers and telling people to be wary of them, and there have been reports that say Rottweilers are responsible for the second most human fatalities out of any breed of dog. And yes, Rottweilers are definitely temperamental. They are territorial and preferred by those seeking a guard dog. They are super protective and when trained properly, can be wildly dangerous to a stranger who wandered into the wrong yard. It's also true that Rottweilers get overexcited, and this causes them to become destructive. A destructive energy mixed with an almost bipolar temperament and combined with the intense strength of the Rottweiler makes this one dog you definitely don't want to get in a fight with. 
Like many dogs though, it's often just because Rottweilers are defensive when they feel threatened, and it just so happens that they feel threatened very easily. Number 6. Stray Dogs Stray dogs are dangerous. You never want to mess with stray dogs, especially when they run wild in Southeast Asia. It doesn't matter what breed the dog is, if it's a stray, it could be a hazard. Take the recent story reported in Asia 1, when a cyclist had to be taken to hospital after a group of wild dogs attacked him and another cyclist in Singapore, knocking one of the men into the gutter and causing serious injuries. And believe it or not, this is actually a huge issue in many parts of the world where there are roaming bands of stray dogs. In the wild, even dogs that were bred through domestication can turn into wild beasts. They travel in huge packs of up to a dozen, they can tear apart a human in seconds, just like a pack of wolves could, and in the case of the poor cyclist, they can knock you into the gutter and send you limping to the hospital. Stray dogs may look like they need some love and affection, but let them be brought to an animal control centre or adoption centre before you try to pet them. Number 5. German Shepherds You might be familiar with German Shepherds working in law enforcement, and this is for a good reason. German Shepherds are extremely smart dogs that can be trained to hunt down and incapacitate criminals, and they are often fearless. But this can turn them into very dangerous animals. This is especially true if the German Shepherd doesn't know you. In a horrifying case from Argentina, Seven News reported that when a 17-year-old girl gave a playful hug to her best friend's German Shepherd to get a photo taken, the dog attacked. The attack was captured in the photo shoot, showing the exact moment that the dog turned and lunged at the girl's face, completely mangling her. She ended up having to get 40 stitches in a two-hour operation after her face was torn open by the angry dog. And of course, the owner would never have expected it. And that's because German Shepherds are generally protective of their family and highly dangerous to random people who try to hug them. Number 4. Dingo and the Baby if you've ever heard the expression, the dingo ate my baby, you may have wondered how much validity there is to the statement. After all, did a dingo really eat a baby a long time ago to make people start saying that? And unfortunately, the answer is yes. In 1980, a dingo really did eat a baby. When the Chamberlain family went camping near the famous Ayers Rock in Australia, a dingo snuck into their tent, stole their 10-week-old baby and ran off and ate it. Upon finding the baby gone, the mother supposedly screamed, My God, the dingo's got my baby! And that's where the expression comes from. But hold on to your socks, because this story gets insane. Lindy and Michael Chamberlain were found guilty in 1982 of murdering their daughter and blaming it on a dingo. It was a huge story in the 80s, and this is what really fueled the dingo ate my baby revolution. But the story didn't end there. In 1986, both their convictions were overturned when police found a jacket belonging to a small baby in an area that was populated by dingoes. It turned out that the dingo really did eat their baby, and both of the distraught parents were let out of jail. Just imagine losing your child, and then being put in jail and accused of killing your own baby yourself. That has to be up there with the worst things that can happen to a person. But the point here is that dingoes are incredibly dangerous, and if you're camping in Australia, be sure not to let any of them in the tent with your baby. Number 3. Huskies Huskies are some of the most beloved dogs in the world. However, huskies are also super dangerous and can do some serious damage. According to a law firm out of Philadelphia that specializes in personal injuries caused by canines, Siberian Huskies are one of the most dangerous breeds and are more often than not responsible for serious injuries that happen to children. Of course, Huskies are not nearly as dangerous as pit bulls, but between 1979 and 1998, there were allegedly 15 mauling deaths perpetrated by Siberian Huskies in the United States. And then there are Malamutes, which are larger than Huskies but often confused as being Huskies, which were responsible for 12 mauling deaths during the same period. It's not clear exactly why Huskies have such a tendency to attack children, but most dog experts will tell parents to keep their kids away from any adult Huskies, as they can apparently snap at any second. Number 2. African Wild Dogs African wild dogs are some of the most brutal canines on the planet. These dogs come from Africa, and are savage hunters and scavengers that should be avoided at all costs. They're quite similar to hyenas in that they travel in packs and in larger numbers can be more dangerous than lions. But even in captivity, African wild dogs should be feared. Take the case from 2012, when a young boy was mauled to death by a pack of African wild dogs after falling into their enclosure in the Pittsburgh Zoo. The Pittsburgh Zoo argued that the death of Maddox Durkosh, 
who had only been two years old at the time, was due to negligence on the part of the mother. The fact is that the mother held the child up to give him a better view of the African wild dogs in their exhibit below the observation deck. Her son lurched forward and he slipped from her grip and the dogs had an early meal. In the end, it was just a freak accident at an enclosure of very dangerous animals. According to New York Daily News, the Pittsburgh Zoo has since removed the African wild dogs and replaced them with a cheetah. Number 1. Bull Mastiff Bull Mastiffs are some of the largest dogs in the world. These beasts are heavy and powerful, and while a grown adult might be able to fend off an attack from a bull mastiff, a child definitely can't. A disturbing incident from the United Kingdom shows just how volatile and dangerous bull mastiffs can be. A family's bull mastiff had to get put down after the animal mauled a two-year-old girl, causing serious damage to her face and almost killing her. The kid had only been playing in the kitchen when she walked past the dog and out of nowhere it lunged at her face and latched on with its teeth. Apparently, the dog had belonged to the boyfriend of the two-year-old's mother. Before the attack, nobody had any concern about the dog being near the child. It had never attacked a child before and it was advertised as being a good family dog by the adoption agency. But this just goes to show that even a good family dog can snap unexpectedly and cause deadly harm. What's your opinion on these dangerous pups? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another great animal video.